Hello Collective, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate them all. Let's tap in and get a message for you guys. This is for all signs. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So the messages may or may not resonate with you. Take the messages that resonate with you, your personal situations, and leave the rest. All right, let's tap in. Spirit, divine spirit, what is the message for the collective? What do they need to know? What they need to be aware of? Overall energy for this reading today for the collective. What is their message? Overall energy for this reading. Just the overall energy, please. Ooh, the sun. <laughs> no, the sun is shining bright. We got the tower. Well, hot dog. Something backfired. Somebody could have reworked something and something still backfired. Somebody's getting a message that... That something is happening very quickly. Somebody could have had the strength and courage to make a final decision about something and things are going uh, changing now. All right. But somebody tried to do something and it backfired as well. Tower to the temperance energy. There was a backfire, a tower, a sudden. Uh, I heard sudden reaction. Okay. Um, a, some sort of disruption. Something happened out of nowhere. Hmm, let's see. Somebody could be shocked or surprised about something now. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, what is this? This tower got somebody all in their head or they feel like they, they're limited on stuff that they can do. We got isolation, maybe because you're isolated or they're isolated. Somebody is not willing to, there's some of restrictions, okay? Whatever somebody is doing, they're restricted. So they only can do but so much. That's why something is backfiring. Or that's why something shifted or something. What's the tower? That's what they could be telling somebody. Gift in the living room. Privacy. Private space. Intimacy and comfort. So somebody is getting clarity that you really like your privacy. You really... You know, like your personal space, something about somebody's personal space, something that's came to someone's attention. I maybe somebody had an opportunity to do something, but yeah, but you could be really enjoying your personal space, rich, rich lady. They looking at you as very easygoing, fun, good life privilege, lavish lifestyle, or something like that. Private space of a rich lady. There could be a main male was expecting unexpected income, but now they're in their thoughts because something is over. They lost a job or there's an ending of somebody being able to work on somebody's path now. Maybe because you're on a path to maybe a relationship or you're going towards love. And this got somebody sick because they was expecting to hear they receive a letter from an older woman or something like that. But they're sad now because you achieved something and people are really having their gloomy thoughts. Yeah, like somebody could be really upset now because you are you got you received something or. <sighs> somebody is realizing that you were a gift. You were there to support someone or they should have supported you. Like respecting your boundaries or your privacy or what? Because there's a tower to a gift. Hmm. Or they're shocked that you were a gift. Or somebody is shocked about a gift you gave someone. 
or something like that, y'all. Somebody could be shocked about this gift, man. I don't know what gift. Maybe your spiritual gifts, your knowledge, your whatever. But somebody shocked about this. That's why you, uh, somebody could see you like, like your privacy or something like that or whatever. And somebody could be thinking like, damn, you know, somebody wasn't expecting something is what I'm getting. Whatever this is, somebody just wasn't expecting it. It threw somebody off. Yeah. So self-preservation, like somebody feel like they got to say they self now. Maybe you have a personality of like, if there's something going on and the energy feels too heavy, you leave. All right. Maybe like maybe somebody feels as though if you're an energy reader or something. Well, if you're intuitive, you're an energy reader. So if you could pick up on energies or something like that, if the energy is off to you, you don't stick around or you don't have you don't you enjoy your privacy. Like, you don't, you're not looking for attention because somebody could have thought you was like an attention hog or something like that. You're not that type of person at all. So somebody could have read you wrong and they could be shocked right now by that though. Wow. Personality and attention. <laughs> yeah. Because they thought that you, you had some sort of, that that's how you came across. Like, maybe you had to, like... Maybe they thought you liked a lot of attention or like somebody really, it's like seeing somebody that they feel, somebody could feel like you out of their league. That's what I'm hearing as well with that rich girl energy. Um, and you like a lot of attention, but you could be like a nerdy, attractive person that really spent a lot of time with animals and bug life and learning new things about plants or just like somebody really misread you and they realizing this right now. Yeah. For some of y'all. All right. Yeah, they thought your whole objective was to get attention, but it's not. Like you don't care about that. And somebody like, oh, wow. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, Maybe attention on, because maybe somebody feel like you're attractive and they thought, oh, you know how people stereotype. And somebody seeing that you're not like that. What else, Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit? Martyrer. So this person felt like they... They could have been working for a couple or working for somebody. I don't feel like it's a couple. Or this is somebody that was working. Like they sold like sold you out, okay? And y'all could have been good together or something. This could be somebody that wanted to be with you here. Yeah, Kendrick. Yeah, they thought that you, somebody like their sister or somebody was competing with you or something like that. Somebody thought that this was a competition here. But they lost, they feel like. Somebody feel like they lost a competition because you're good or something. Whoever this religious person is. Could be learning of some sort of hardships that maybe that you are, you've been through or went through because of something. And they could be asking for forgiveness. Because a prophecy is happening. Somebody could be disconnecting from, disconnected from a messenger that's in the limelight. Because they did nothing but, you know, be addicted to doing stuff to somebody. So something, a prophecy is being fulfilled and somebody is being disconnected from somebody that's in the limelight. And you were a gift to them or something like that. This is what somebody is seeing now. Murderer and Kendrick. I don't know why I said they sisters. So my sister can be involved with you. Kindred. Sovereign shine. Yeah, so somebody that was expecting for some there to be some sort of competition or something. Or for you to compete 
or something or some weird shit. Like, what is this? Or for you, like somebody was expecting, maybe thinking you were competing with someone and you weren't. Oh, man. We got home and we have a play. Maybe somebody was playing, wanted to play house with a snake or something like that. They wanted you to. But you want real love or something like that. Maybe somebody seemed like, wow, they thought, like, somebody really was thinking bad about you. Like, oh, you think you're so perfect or, oh, you think you're this and that. They was thinking these things about you, Collective. I don't know. Somebody was really uh, stereotyping you or something. All right. Somebody see you as being privileged or something. Maybe somebody wanted to work with you. Somebody friend or something could have martyred themselves or they martyred themselves for a friend that was snooty okay or that's what i'm hearing snooty <laughs> somebody could have been snobby or something maybe they thought something was given to you and you actually something what well, didn't go like that yeah like somebody like oh my friend like somebody really got you wrong earth angel i don't know who this is this could be a friend family member ex-lover somebody you met passing whatever they had no idea that you're a really kind-hearted person you really keep it real you love yourself just the way you are you're not dimming your own light to fit in with anyone like you you don't care like but in their eyes they could have thought you were because most people that's like you are like that's the kind of how the conversation could have been, you know. Wow, yeah. Now they see you as an earth angel role model that love yourself. Like somebody whole perception of you has changed now. I don't know what they thought before, but they're seeing you differently. Like, you enjoy the little things, something about the small things and like, the, you're not flashy or, you know, you care about other people's, how they feel about, you know, you don't want to offend anyone, like, you care, you know, maybe somebody could have, okay, like, you know how readers, we read, and we read in a scenario about what's going on and, it be cut we be cussing and stuff like that first and foremost let me say like when we're picking up on the energy that's how that's the person that we are talking about how they coming across and if we agree like uh, something that they're how they're feeling we'll say that like wow i can feel i feel how this person is feeling or whatever because the energy that we pick up on we not become that person, not at all, but we pick up their energy and just convey the message as if it was them or if they were doing something or if they were, that doesn't necessarily mean that that person, that reader, that outside of when the camera is, is off, you know, um, is like that. Like they could be a completely opposite energy. Most readers are very calm and poised energy like most people that are on a spiritual journey most people that are you know we're not competing with each other even though people feel like in their minds there's some sort of competition some people are it like that but then most people are we don't even look at it like that we just show up you know for you guys and give you the messages that you need and hope that, you know, you get something out of it and we just keep it real as possible so that you don't get confused about stuff, you know? That's it. And our day-to-day -day is pretty solitude. Like, we pretty chill, relax, you know? Honey, I, let me tell you. <laughs> like, you, the shit. Anything. Just to see a, a bird land on something, on a flower, or see a butterfly that'll that's enough to get us smiling you know to see the trees blooming that's enough to get somebody smiling like somebody 
may have the, had the wrong perception of somebody. I just get that strong. Maybe because of how you look or your race or your background or what you do for work. Something like that. Like somebody that was eavesdropping, they are finding out like you really are. You're very, whoever, even if this person you was eavesdropping on you there, you're inspiring them to become a better person. Like, that's how they know for sure you a role model. Like, damn, like, shit, I'm, I'm up here doing some backhanded shit and I really want to be a better person because, you know, I am tripping. I, I think I might, I should do X, Y, and Z. I should start doing this. Like, you know what I mean? It's a thing. We got home. What about the home? Like, so somebody is seeing something differently now. All right? What about somebody home? Like, we be in our own world, and there's no shade to nobody outside of it. <laughs> we be really in our, in our like, la, 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 la land. Like, it's not that bad. But somebody also know you know how to read the room. And if it feels weird, like, you don't stick around. Somebody know that. What's home? Betrayal? Somebody feel betrayed. What? Because somebody was being fake. Someone wasn't, someone who, bah, somebody feel betrayed. Someone who isn't themselves to gain friends or popularity. They seem very nice to everyone else, but talk trash behind their back. They say wife on the phone. This person will drain you for your energy and everything that you got. Somebody that's high vibrational? There's no such thing as a high vibrational groupie. So, uh, a groupie could have started spreading lies about your business matters. Now they feel trapped because somebody was hooked on hiding your ranking. Who you really was. Now somebody woke to that. And they mad. Because they could have found out. Somebody could have got a reading done. And found out that you had a really beautiful soul. And somebody could have flipped. Or somebody found out like. You know who you really was. And they like what? So they feel betrayed. Because somebody thought was telling them. That you was fake. You wasn't really, this could be somebody they live with. You wasn't who you said you was. Fourth house, yeah. This got something to do with a home, a family member, a sibling. They, like I said, it could have been somebody, I said sister in the beginning. They feel betrayed by somebody. Wow, they was married to? What is this? So they was married to something, somebody that was irresponsible. And they got evidence and receipts about their best friend doing something to you that they wasn't supposed to. And it's like, oh, babe, I was just, you know, like, so this could be the husband finding this out. Okay. And maybe it's them, their sister, their wife and their sister, their wife's sister or a, a wife and a sister, somebody, I don't know, something like that. Some, it's a weird dynamic. And they finding out what these ladies did or what they're doing. And they feel betrayed right now when it comes to their family. Because you were, like, they could have, if this is like, say, because I'm seeing the masculine, I'm seeing two ladies and another man. The man could be married to his sister. And there could have been her best friend, his sister's best friend. This is how I'm seeing it. All right. Maybe she wanted to be with him or something like that. He didn't want to be with her. So she could have found out about you, Collective. All right. You would be the fifth person in all of this. Because it's four people that I'm seeing. But one dude not in it at all. But it's two women and a dude. That was animate. Like, uh, about you. Yeah, this could have been their ex-lover that they was dealing with. That has a poker face now because they hated you. Your light was irritating their demons and they regret it. 
because they really had somebody going. Like somebody could have had a beautiful connection with you and they really turned this person the other way or something. They could have ghosted you or something like that. And they feel betrayed now by this person, by a family. They feel betrayed. That's what I'm hearing. Why? Why are they feeling betrayed right now by their fourth house? In the second house. Yo, for real. In their second house. Everything that this person in the situation claim, their own money, self-worth. Somebody is heartbroken. Everybody wants them, but not everybody can have them. Generous. Hmm. Everybody wants them, but not everybody can have them. Toxic connection. Somebody could be in a toxic connection, and somebody could be trying to control somebody with legal issues or with a contract or something like that. And they could have communicated that somebody would party all the time at work or... Maybe somebody would, it had a split personality, like somebody, what? So somebody was telling somebody, like, you be out here in these streets and you, this is dead and, you know, you pretend to be a role model or earth angel, but you really are that and you don't be out in these streets. So it's kind of like, why would you say that about them? Yeah, the truth is revealed. It's like, so somebody could be asking this person and they arguing with them. Like, why would you say that? Yeah, like, yep, yeah, because they found out this person had no limit to how far they go. This man is in the gym, child. Somebody could have been more stalking you or spying on you in the gym. <laughs> oh, my God. <gasps> what? All right. So somebody could have been all up in your business, had no limit to how far they would go. Whoever she is, somebody that's <sighs> snooty. That's what I want to I say about that energy. I don't know why. They were being very nosy. They had no limit to how far they would go. Somebody could have went really far to discredit you. No limits. What is this? They had no limits. So how far they would go to discredit you or something. They was newsy all up in your business. Wow. Now somebody actions is catching up to them. Because somebody was hooked or were addicted to some finding out some truth. And now they woke. No money, no talk. How they did an earth angel. To an earth angel, they tried to finesse somebody to be generous to them. So there was no money, no talk to an earth angel um, because they couldn't finesse you. Maybe they wanted to finesse you or something like that, but you turned them down or something. We got Kindred. About the Kindred. So an ex lover. That's who the spirit is. Kindred person is an ex lover. They see you balling or something. And your ranking, your status, because of your status. And somebody could have told somebody, that, a gold digger, to find out information about you or something like that. So somebody, ex-lover, was trying to find out information about who you was. And they could be pissed off when they found out because they found out you're not a weird, twisted, deranged individual. And they're saying they're not jealous, but yeah... Um, maybe, yeah, ex lover is pissed off because you're not a weird, twisted individual that's not jealous about somebody, and this is stressing them out because you chilling, having a having peace in your world while they having money problems with an energy drainer they thought was high vibrational, but really was a groupie when it came to somebody business matters. They were very irresponsible, so they could have started a business or tried to start something here. And it didn't go nowhere in their life or something like that. So it's an ex-lover. Their ex-lover could be pissed off. Yours, tell it, take it as it resonates. But somebody pissed off because they found out, like, what somebody was 
trying to push the agenda of, right? This murderer, this is crazy. So somebody feel like they murdered themselves or they, they a sellout or something. Fifth house, what they do for entertainment. What somebody was doing on a leisure time because you kept shining. They was projecting at you. Child, that's a weirdo. Whoever he is, he is a weirdo. Because he was doing all this. Maybe he do witchcraft. Maybe that's what murder. That's what he do. Okay. Maybe somebody's, you know, is a practitioner or something like that, but you keep shining. And they was pointing out things that they was doing, saying it was you. And now you could be unimpressed by this distorted masculine. Like, or somebody is unimpressed by a distorted masculine because you're seeing them as that. Abuse of power. Wanted to compete with you or something. And now they're feeling trapped in a circumstance, you know, with somebody that was intimidated by you talking the truth about somebody's hidden agenda and how they stood by watching it all happen. This shit happened in real time and shit or something. It's, it feels like these readings is real time, for real, for real, because I just had said somebody found out something and you. I just said something about somebody uh, doing something to you and they sitting back watching it and now somebody going back to the practitioner or somebody or whoever this is and they finding out some other shit and they mad at this distorted masculine now because this distorted masculine could be intimidated because you spoke the truth about them or something like that take it as it resonates yeah about their hidden agenda like whatever you were saying you was dead on whatever you whatever you were saying i said that whatever <laughs> Whatever I said uh, about that message that this person stated about well, hey, with a hidden agenda, you that was the truth. And they is like looking at you weird or something. Like how you know that? Or <laughs> maybe you came to this person with this information and they like how you know that or something like that. And they intimidated because they feel betrayed because everything is yours. Fourth house and the second house, everything you claim to have on your money, that's yours. It's not, they feel betrayed because somebody could have told somebody a lie about it. And now somebody got a poker face, because but they really stressed out. Now somebody got this poker face going on. Try not to show emotions because they thought maybe they wanted control over your 10th house. <laughs> what? Maybe because they ranking in society or yours, like somebody weird. Okay. They wanted some sort of control over your life. What you do, how you do it or something like that. You have a mighty shield. Okay. So you're being protected because it's weird. Like, what is wrong with people, Lord? Like, this is this is too invested in some bullshit. Like, this is it. this is this is something else, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I ain't never seen this in my life. Like this type of stuff, like this. Like, people are hell, these type of people are hell big to get something to go in their favor and destroying another and competing. And, like, what are we competing about? Like, what is happening right now? Like, what, what part of the game is that? Like, somebody wanted to compete with you and a man at that. If you're feminine, well, yeah, rich lady, like, you... You could be doing well for yourself, and it's a man that, like, I guess felt weird because you did, maybe you do better than them or something, honey. I don't, honey, I don't know. This is too much. This is weird. People are strange, very strange individuals.
Yeah, this person like to throw glamours and cause drama or something. Just drama filled. And now it's being something energy is being rebalanced or something like that. Cause somebody really was trying to cause some sort of chaos or drama. Like maybe somebody constantly do chaos magic to affect your progress in life when it comes to your fourth and second house. Like somebody just wants to cause all types of chaos and drama and shut you up energy. Like somebody wants you to stop speaking, stop talking, stop, you know, giving the messages and, you know, so they, I don't know. This is wow, very strange. Once again, whatever has been rebalanced and you are healing from something, there's been some sort of rebalance in energy. You're healing now. Like I said, somebody could have tried to rework something because they seen that you were healing and then it backfired instantly on them. Something crazy happened around them or something like that. Yeah, because you knew maybe you have the gift of sight. If somebody feel casted away, maybe they were trying to cast you away or wanted you to feel abandoned or something. Some strange shit. What is wrong with people? Like, what the fuck? Don't they got something else better to do than to constantly think about how to take or hurt another person? Like, this don't even make sense. Like, what? After sadness, happiness, and hope returns. And the power of three, know that you have positive, uplifting friends or something. Guidance, where does it lead these people? I don't know. It's a time for spirit, though. And it's time for you to have a treat. Like, these people feel casted away now. They trying to heed wise counsel because, like I said, they could have did something. Maybe they seen they did something on your foundation. And they were shocked to see you still receiving something. So they could have got really angry and put the pedal to the metal energy. And just, you know, like, no, I said that you'll never, like... This is weird. They're too invested. This is so isolated. And if it's a, in a spiritual community, don't y'all think like as if you claim you're spiritual and you're here to grow, heal, and evolve and all this cool shit, don't you think you got enough people against you? You got people in higher places that's against you and you're worried about people that is on the same mission as you. Like what is the difference who's giving the message or who is doing what at this time? If it's not, like, if you have a message to give, then give it. Anyway, God is telling you to give it. You know what I'm saying? Like, or, like, I don't think that, you know, it's enough room for everybody. I know it's enough room for everybody to give messages and, you know what I'm saying? Like, so make it make sense to me. You know, greatness doesn't happen overnight. Especially if you, and if you do happen overnight, you might want to throw it back because it's not going to last long. You know what I mean? Like somebody is maybe because somebody was hell bent on saying you was a slacker that you ain't have drive or just talking really bad about you. Really bad. Somebody could have tried to uh, dry up some donations or dry up your money is what I just heard. Like somebody really wants. Why would you want somebody to be broke like this? The, the logic of this type of stuff is just, what? It's weird to me, y'all. I'm so sorry, but I can't. What is wrong with these people? Like, this is, are, do, are, do they know they're being used? Or, they, like, I don't think they do. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, if the agenda is to raise the vibration and whoever is coming to these people to hire these people to do bad stuff to people that are actually raising the vibration of the world and stuff like that, then wouldn't you be the problem instead of the person that's raising the vibration? Right? Like, if there's a problem in this scenario, it would be the person that's giving the money to hurt another individual when we are promoting love, peace, joy, and heal healing vibes. I don't, I don't know the logic of these people, y'all. I, I don't get it. Yeah, these people definitely got a distorted view. I swear, man. 
I don't get where they seeing this at. I don't get where, what they, do they understand? Like, they're not doing something for the greater cause. Like, do you understand? Like, do you understand what you are doing to yourself? Like, forget the money that you're getting for something. Or do you understand what the, the bigger picture here? Like, it's way bigger than... A competition. You know? And if I may say so myself, it's like uh, our community of African American people are really being targeted at an all-time high right now. And ain't nobody saying nothing about it. Like nobody is, they just watching it happen. Like right now, every buzz, all the buzz when it comes to downfalls and catastrophic events is to people that were trying to make a difference in this world. Not saying everybody or some people deserve some shit, you know what I'm saying? But the position that they put them in, in order for that to happen, it was all orchestrated. Seems like a big org. What are they trying to do? We have more and more of our brothers hating our women. Like no shade to any other race out here. I'm just speaking on in like what I'm seeing when it's coming to our race. Like, and I'm not trying to make this a race thing, but I'm just made, stating the obvious right now. And I don't think people are realizing the obvious. Like, bro, they're trying to make us go and stink. Like, y'all ain't peeping at. Like, nobody is mentioning this. And it's kind of scary. Because it's your own kind that is doing this. The most. Why is that? Meanwhile, everybody else is preparing for what's to come. So when it happens, all right, let's call it the Big Bang Theory, right? When the Big Bang happens, everybody else that was preparing for it to happen, right? Some people brought bunkers, okay? Already for certain things to prepare for certain things to happen in this world. Everybody else was already stocked up and ready. But as soon as everything went crazy, are they trying? They look at what they're doing, y'all. Pay attention here. Pay attention. <laughs> like, I don't think somebody paying attention to what's going on right now. Like, who is controlling you? Confirmation. Who is controlling you? Who are you working for? Because this is getting out of hand. And I am afraid for our people. It's a lot going on right now, y'all. Bigger things than just petty competition on, what is this, like hunger games for our people? And let the strongest survive because they already done ran through our men, ladies. If you haven't peeped, I can't, I don't know one man. I mean, I can't, I cannot, and I don't like to say this, but it's true though. I don't know one man that like their own race right now. As far as our African American men, they don't like women. They don't like us. Why? They'd rather be with them, each other, than to be with a wholesome woman. Since when did, like, what happened? And it seemed like it's happening so fast. Everybody got a little sugar in the tank or everybody got a little, you know, uh, agenda of, Tear a woman down and 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 and, and what I don't see nobody else in another I ain't seen enough I ain't seen the Mexicans do it. I ain't seen the 
uh, Caucasian people do it. I ain't seen them do that to the people, y'all. Like, what's going on, y'all? Pay attention. Pay attention. It's getting crazy out here. It's getting crazy. And it's taking less than nothing for these people to turn us against each other. All they got to say is, oh, you know. What is the big fight when it comes to strength from an African-American woman? Why doesn't she deserve to be happy? Why doesn't she deserve to be at peace in her life? What is all of this? Like, did y'all notice that it's less and less African-American children being born every year? If that doesn't bring, you know, raise an alarm to you, I don't know what will. You know what extinct mean, right? Because <sighs> even over in other countries, they're not, these Nigerian men ain't, you know, marrying African-American uh, women. You know who they going to first. Like, let's talk about it. They're exalting other races before, like, what's going on, people? And then we got to come to work. Y'all got to come to work. And they have brainwashed your brothers and sisters that have had this, their spiritual awakening to think that we, we're not, we're competing with each other or to think that we, we shouldn't work together or... Like, why are they so threatened by our numbers? Why are they threatened by greatness in numbers? It's like you take, it takes nothing, you know, for these people to get on this type of bandwagon and to turn each other against each other. And it takes nothing for these people to do this. Look at this. Back off voodoo, what goes around comes around. Like somebody is doing a lot to distort views, cause drama. And now it made me think about like how many people back in the back in the back in the day, you know, our ancestors and how many more were they that was greater than just the few that we know about, that they barely talk about. Like I said, I'm not trying to make this a race thing, but just tell me why we are, why are we the hated race? Why is it so bad? And then it just hurts my heart even more to see that it's our own brothers and sisters that is just willing to tear us down for a price and maybe not even for a price. Just because they want it. This is strange. It's sad. I'm very, I'm very much so afraid of the future for, you know. I, I'm just be honest. I am I'm terrified about that. The way this world going right now, y'all. Mm -mm. The grass was only greener because it was fake. Somebody that was being stubborn and stuck in the ways is realizing that. Damn. Somebody is stuck in the past of how things used to be, I guess. This person could be using a lot of spell work. To make things how it used to be behind the scenes. 
Somebody just wants somebody to be like, fuck it. I don't want to help nobody grow him and evolve no more. It is what it is. Like, we're destined to fail anyway. Like, that's what somebody wants somebody to do. They want people to, the people that are in the powers of being able to help and guide, you know, others on their right path. And then I promise you, I swear, I foresee it. That once that happened, everything else, it, it'll be calmed down. And it won't be no trolling for the other people. It won't be none of that. Like how many people who want, like, it, it, like, like, come on, hindsight, y'all. How many people really be complaining about the trolling? Who be complaining about the trolling? Like, think about it, y'all. And it's like, it's so much space here, so much room, so much opportunity for all of us. But why are they trying to push us out? of the platforms of being seen of like they're going above and beyond to do that. And <laughs> they all helping them. Shit crazy. So you could definitely have some sort of platforms or something like that. And the ratio is wild. Maybe other countries or people from other places, they were doing better before you came along or something. Or maybe, you know, now it's more variety. So it's given like somebody want to cut down the variety of people having so many options to see or to have options to who they want to watch, who they want to gravitate to. Somebody behind the scenes could be doing a lot of magic to cut down the variety of what people see, how they want us like stuff like that. Like somebody is doing that. You're going to grow from this situation though. Yeah. Cause these people could working together with toxic family dynamics to block you laugh a bit. The information leaving somebody shook here. Because it's all about money. That's all they caring about. So, like I said, we are here, you know, to grow. The people that actually, some people are here just for the money. And they like, what the fuck? Like, everybody gravitating to the, towards this person that is really pure at heart. And really seriously, really just on this mission to grow, heal, and evolve. And really trying to help the people. You know, because it seems like people that are really being authentic is doing better than the people that was here for the money. That's what somebody is feeling right now. And they feel like that's not fair. You know, because people are gravitating towards the people that are really here to help. And... Those that are feeling that way, they could have already made it to a certain point, right? This person here, right? And they like, oh, hell no. I want it to how it used to be. It wasn't like everybody, I, they got almost a million viewers or they got a, a million subscribers or something like that. Or like, and don't nobody come see them no more or you know, like it was so easy to get this and that. And it was so easy to get this and that. But both now here they come all in and everybody having awakenings now. And they're looking at us as the problem. So these is people that already been in the game and they already had the money. And they like, no, they got to go because y'all, us, people that are here to actually raise the vibration, they feel like we're making it harder on their pockets. And they feel as though that that's why the attack of the money that makes more sense now why somebody is trying to attack finances all the time or they trying to tear your platform down or get people to walk away from you, put each other against each other. They're like, oh, this new person, they getting a little buzz. Let's do a spell behind the scene to distort their view, to make them think they competing with them. And as they sit back and watch and as they sit back and watch, they watching to see if their scales come up more. Or if they get more views or if they get more something like that. This is crazy. But they feel like they can't change something because 
it's like you be speaking facts and somebody hate that. They like, oh my gosh, like, I wish you shut up. Like, stop speaking facts. Like, like the eight o'clock slot is my slot. Nobody is supposed to upload anything at eight o'clock but me. How dare you come into, like, somebody could even be like that. That's what I'm hearing. Like, somebody is mad because you uploaded something at the same time they uploaded, but people start, like, this is, this is petty. And whoever these, these could be older women. What the fuck? Because I'm looking at their hair because they're gray and you got regular hair. Like, you could be younger. And it's like, what do you know? Well, we clearly know more than you because you're not at peace, ma'am. No offense. But you're not spreading love. You're spreading hate. And the only thing you care about is money. And that does not give you the right to destroy another person because of their skin color or because of their ethnicity or because their language or because of, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, somebody really needs to, you know, get a hold of themselves. This is, a, it's getting embarrassing for them, not us. Like, who are you to tell somebody that they can't have a good life? Who are you to tell somebody that they are not good enough to make be, make anything of themselves in this life? That's not fair. That's not fair. And somebody all in their feelings because they want it to be how it used to be. Yeah, you're going to grow from this situation, Collective. I'm so sorry that you're going through this. Like, yeah, this shit could be... Somebody could get arrested. I, remember that one person that was on the TikTok? They got arrested for all the trolling and all this. They thought that they would never get caught up. But they got arrested for the bullshit. <laughs> like, it, it's, it's like somebody really doing a lot, y'all. Somebody could be sorry about what they was desiring for you, this witchcraft to do or witch to do on behind the scenes because somebody wanted to level up. Maybe somebody wanted more. They weren't happy with what they were getting or receiving. All right. And it's just simple as like, just relax. Be focused on yourself. I have a card that says not focusing on the money. Focus on God. And everything will change for you. For the better. But you writing letters and trying to tear somebody down and doing all of this. That's not fair. Because they didn't do anything to you. And all you worried about, you're trying to take livelihood away from somebody. And if you claim to be a loving, caring, peace-loving person. But clearly they said that that was fake. That this person was fake as heck. They're not really a loving, caring person. They're only about drama or something. But you're going to grow from this situation. Like somebody need to get a grip. You're going to grow from this situation. Somebody all in their head. Also, somebody is seeing every time they attack you, you grow. That should be a telltale sign of something for them. They're seeing every single time that they attack you, you grow. They thought they tore uh, something down for you before and you grew even bigger. So somebody is, they don't want to tear something down because they know that if they tear it down, you just going to get even bigger. So somebody is seeing a pattern here when it comes to attacking you spiritually, when it comes to something because they're like, you know what? Every time I attack this person, every time I pay somebody to attack this person, they always grow. Why is that? Think about it. Why does this person grow and you go down when you attack them? Think about that. Somebody really needs to sit back and think about that. Ain't because they found the higher practitioner that's more stronger and powerful. No. Why is it like that? Why is it like that? Like you're, you shine and irritating the fuck out of somebody. We got wrong way. You're not, because you're not going the wrong way, you're being guided. That's why. Growth. Why do you grow? Is because you're not going the wrong way. 
You don't need to make a U-turn. You're being divinely guided. So through the trials and tribulations, you still are being guided by your ancestors. God still got your hand. That's why as soon as he sees somebody throw some bullshit at you, he like, shh. You know what? I done told her ass to go ahead on and ground herself, meditate, and think about why she wants you this to happen to you. Let me slap her real quick, give her something to think about, and put you back to where you're supposed to be. Like, I'm sorry, baby. You okay? Like, dusting you off. Every time somebody knock you off the swing, God pick you back up and put you back on the swing. You were being guided around New Year's and somebody is now taking a moment to reflect why your energy and your aura is still pure. Something, a relationship was magically meant to be some sort of altercation that broke out because when you got the job, you had an upgrade or they thought they was going to get hired to get this upgrade, but somebody was stuck in their ways. They didn't realize that a phase was coming to an end of somebody wishing ill will on you all the time. On a performer, like they kept doing it, like that's sad. Like let the, let this person alone. Let this person live a life. Like we all got one life to live. Like who are you to say? Like what you think gonna happen to you next lifetime, or even in this lifetime? It's gonna come back, and you say you don't care now until you're gonna be crying and shit. You say that now. People love to say that when. When I, I like, I always laugh at people like that. They love to talk all that cash shit when it's not happening to them. But as soon as it happens to them, they say, "Oh, I, before it happened, oh, I don't care. Uh, I got this. My spirit guy gonna do this." And th 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 th. what happens when they see you the problem and they don't want nothing to do with you? What's gonna happen then? Because remind mind you that these energies, this magic, and this, the powers that we have come from our ancestors. And if you sit there, you think you harness some sort of magician power, and you really are this whatever all by yourself, then maybe you that got the game messed up. And God will show you quick how unmagical you really are. Some people have access to the ethers and some people don't. It's a privilege to have access. And this is what you're doing with your access? Trying to tear people down that God put in position? We didn't put ourselves in this position. God did. That's why somebody can't knock us down. That's why we still grow. That's why we're still able to show and give love and stuff like that. But somebody's caring about the wrong things, like strange. Yeah, like while you loving on yourself, somebody is wanting you to be a victim. They're a victim of whatever. I said weird. You're not going the wrong way, collective. Now this person feel tricked. They feel homeless. They feel cast in the way. They feel messed up. For causing all this supernatural disturbance. They feel like it's so strange. It's so weird that they the ones. That failed. We got enough going on, y'all. Like, seriously, get it together. Focus on your future. Building for your children. Building for yourself. If you don't have kids, build it for your 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 uh cats, your dogs, whatever you love, man. Like, what are y'all doing? Wrong way. Somebody didn't go the wrong way or something. You won't grow from this situation. Somebody's pissed off because they wanted you stuck in the past. Yeah, they can't make you go the wrong way. Look at that. A reader, they wanted you to go the wrong way. If you're this reader here, something is a faded event. Somebody is feeling overwhelmed. Because somebody, okay, it could be a reader that's coaching these people to do this. Somebody that do the same thing that you do. Seventh house, they did come out. It's too hard to cause conflict here. They want you to go the wrong way. They it's hard. They overloaded. It's too hard to cause you conflict to you so peaceful. And they want a dictatorship over your life. 
So they made certain arrangements and they're surprised that you still are getting married. Like, how are you still growing? Like, I had the top of the top people to destroy you. Like, this is crazy to them. But why are you still trying to destroy this person, ma'am and or sir? What is going on? They're not competing with you. They're not even thinking about you. Somebody is overwhelmed. They feel awkward now. Look at this. Because they was protesting against you. Now they're worried and paranoid and stuff like that. Because somebody could be sick or feeling weak or fragile right now. But you live and you learn. <sighs> like, what are you doing? You're going to grow from this situation, Collective. Every time somebody calls some drama to you, you know why you grow is because you handle it in a very mature way. Like, you don't want to seek revenge on somebody. You just, like, you know, it's hard for us to understand it, I'm sure. You know, but it's like, okay, well, I'm going to just move forward, you know, and hope for the best. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all we can do. That's all we can do, man. And pray about it. You will grow from this situation. Yeah, because you're doing something good. You're very professional. You're very talented on your journey here. I feel like somebody sees that you're very creative. And somebody that was being arrogant, their illusions is coming to an end. And they're worried now. About a home or investment that they made. They feel like they're going to have to compromise third wheel enemy. Because somebody can't be your enemy. This is really blowing somebody's top, y'all. How they cannot be your enemy. It's like, how are you going to be an enemy to somebody that is being friendly to you? And they want you to get angry and fight back. Like, so they can have a reason. It's no reason. Yeah. This person was committed to being your enemy. Like, this is crazy. Arranging things. And this person is all in their feelings. Some are all in their feelings. Because you're at peace. They feel like they can't relax. Because you're too relaxed. You're too relaxed while they're they're all over the place. We got relaxation. <sighs> blessings. They see you. They're enlightened about your blessings and stuff like that. And your gifts. And your isolation. Somebody could be isolating themselves here or somebody feel dull because they've been enlightened about your gifts or how happy you are or you receiving something you're getting wish fulfillment you're relaxed by day something is a gift for you you're getting this gift to be at peace or something in your solitude energy. And somebody's disappointed because they really was in their ego coaching somebody to do something. And they know somebody is a sweetheart. They sorry. A soulmate wish that they had inner peace. Or they wish that you have inner peace. Or are they wishing now that... You know, somebody waving the white flag. They Somebody seeing something differently, y'all. That's just what I'm feeling. We got a lot of enough going on, y'all. Like, can we just spread more love, please? More joy. More happiness. Somebody is stuck in the past. Maybe they stuck in the past way of who you used to be. Or whoever this arrogant person is. Stubborn. They were. They quit now. They're stop. They're quitting on depending on somebody having a natural disaster, or they quit, or is awakened here about a couple taking a big risk, and somebody got clarity. 
about something or somebody just quitting something or whatever. Somebody's stubborn. Somebody that is stubborn, being stuck in the past. That's coming to an end. Something is over. Death card. Yeah, you're going to have inner peace. You can have inner peace now that somebody from your past that was stuck in the past, the way something was, they're like, fuck it. I'm sorry for whoever this is. I'm sorry you felt this way about whoever this is. I just hope you go heal. I'm not saying that you're flawed at all, but sometimes we just go through things and we just need to look at them clearly and just, you know, heal what we are feeling, you know, and not project it on another person. You know what I mean? 